everyone. Welcome back to Homegrown Passion. Today's video, I'm going to go over the benefits and my process of removing old tomato and cucumber plants from the greenhouse. So stay tuned. So my decision to remove the old plants from the greenhouse revolves around my farm market season. Since it's the end of the season of the farm market, it's end of the season for the plants. The benefits of removing old plants from the greenhouse. First one is the older plants get diseases and you see it in the leaves, you see all the different colors and they just don't produce. And that's the second reason because they don't produce as good. The third is, as the longer plants in the greenhouse, the more pests it's going to get. And the fourth, which is my favorite, is I get to clean the whole Beto bucket area and get it ready for my planting for the next season with fresh plants. So these plants have really produced for me this year. The tomato plants, just the one row of them, is over 1,400 pounds of tomatoes. And the cucumbers, which is a little bit shorter term crop, so this rotation, I think it's almost 400 English cucumbers. Well, now it's time to get to work and get these plants out of the greenhouse. Today is going to be the cucumbers and tomorrow is going to be the tomatoes. But first, I need to change into a long sleeve shirt because the cucumber plants make me break out and hive so bad. So let me hop in the head house and get changed and get at it. If you've been following me on YouTube, you've seen me clip up cucumbers and take them out before. But just to let you know, I always have to wear long sleeves because something about these leaves, they have little pokey things on them and it just makes me break out in little hives. So I always have to make sure I wear long sleeves. And I start at the bottom and I just start clipping the plant up into pieces and get the string with the beto bobbin, cut those off, and then go ahead and just start putting them into the garbage can. I did go ahead and harvest all the good sized cucumbers so I could have those for our salads. Don't want to waste anything. It's always good to have a nice pair of clippers to be able to do this. go through betel bucket by betel bucket and get them down so I'm gonna go get them as far as I can reach and then I'll get the ladder get all the ones up on the top put into the garbage can that makes me sad taking out the plants but then it makes me happy because I get to clean up the area and start brand new plants that have nice growth. Because it seems like when the plants are younger, they have such a better cucumber fruit on them. And this way too, I don't have to worry about any bugs. Make sure nothing's lingering or lurking here in the greenhouse. Yep, let's get these all cut up and pulled out. Luckily it doesn't take too long to get them out of the greenhouse. And I have the tank, which is so nice to dump all the debris in and drive it over to the compost pile instead of having to do wheelbarrows. I have to say the cucumbers are probably the e easiest plant to get out of the beto buckets. The tomatoes, they're a pain in the butt because they're so long with their stems. The peppers, I've never pulled peppers before, so I have no idea how it's going to go. But to me, they look like they're going to be a pain because there's so much fo foliage in there, so many leaves and branches. It's probably going to, like I said, take me two days to get them out. But this time of year, it's not too bad to work in the greenhouse during the day. I mean, the sunshine comes out, but the next couple weeks, it's only going to be in the 60s, so it's not going to get super hot. And the other plants don't make me itch like the, other, like the cucumbers do, so I won't have to wear long sleeves. Oh, it's got to cut this guy out of the bucket there. What's nice is on the feed line, the nutrient line, I have a valve on there. So I will be able to turn that off so the betel buckets don't keep getting watered with nothing in them. But I do still have the timer on because it is going to the tomatoes for another little bit time, a little bit longer, but those will be turned off shortly. I probably should have turned the nutrient line off for the cucumbers a little bit sooner but look at I did find another one to harvest because it does make the plants shrivel up a little bit and they're a little bit lighter to get out. And also same for the beto buckets. You, you know, I want to take these out with the 
uh, pearlite because they've had two or three crops in them and they get pretty heavy when they're wet. There's a lot of root mass in the bottom of them. So I'm just going to keep going along here and then I'll, like I said, head up to the top get these guys all out of the greenhouse. Well, here go the pickling cucumbers. Well, that's not pickling cucumber right here, but there we go. These are the pickling cucumbers. I had four plants and we put up so many pickles, spicy dill pickles and regular dill pickles. But these plants are even pokier than the regular cucumbers and the English cucumbers. So it doesn't feel real good taking these guys out. I can't believe how much they produce. Oh, there's one little one I forgot. Did it just fell? See, look at that. Look at all the flowers on it. So I'll go ahead and save this guy. I don't know for what, but we'll save him for something. Can't throw anything away. I got the bottom half out and in the garbage can. Now to do the top. So you can see it doesn't take too long to pull the cucumber. So another 10 minutes. I'll have all the rest of these plants out of here. So, this is it. This is how I get the cucumbers out. Be done in a couple minutes. Here's the row of tomatoes I'm going to pull out today. You can look at them and see they're a little bit wimpy. Well, I did that on purpose. I turned the water off to them yesterday, so they'll be a little bit lighter and a little bit easier to get out of the greenhouse. And obviously, I'm not going to pull these guys out with a white shirt on because you know how messy tomatoes are. When you touch them, you turn green and yellow and it stains all your clothes. So I'm going to go put an old t-shirt on and start hacking them away and get them out of the greenhouse with my little wagon. Okay, got my old clothes on, so I think I'm ready to start pulling the tomatoes and make a big mess. So over the years, the best way I found to hack up the tomatoes is cut them in three foot sections. Go right through the bobbin white or the string, just cut them up and stick them into my garbage can. Need to get some sharper clippers here. So I'll just keep going around the whole row and leave these guys hanging and then get the ladder and get them down. Well, I'm happy to get these tomatoes pulled. Like I said, they're over a year old, and I'm really happy about getting my greenhouse cleaned up. I love my fall spring cleaning.
have it all out. A little bit more here in the wagon to put up here in the tank. But it didn't take as long as I thought. And then look how nice and clean my hands are. Feels good to get a good job done. This little wagon really came in handy getting all these branches and stems out of the greenhouse. Well, I'm so glad that job is done, but I still need to get the pepper plants out and the beto buckets, and I need to get them out, washed, and sanitized. But I have a few weeks to get that job completed because I don't need to reseed and replant until probably November. And if you guys have any experience of removing your plants, either old plants from the garden or your greenhouse, leave me some comments down below so I can see if you have any tips and tricks that might help me and help our other viewers. And also, I've done a few other videos of removing stuff in the greenhouse. If you want to see what I've done, check out my older videos. And like always, please leave me comments, questions, and suggestions down below. And we'll see you guys next video.